with 2022 being over, I thought I'd make a little reflective video about my paddling season and just how the year went on the water and my adventures and things like that. Show some highlights, talk about some things, talk about some plans for next year, this year, whenever it is. When is now? My little girl Evie says yesteryear. I think it'd be a good name for a band. In 2022, I think I came in with one focus when it came to paddling. That was whitewater. I had two new whitewater boats, an inflatable, two man, and a hard boat. I didn't have a roll or anything like that, but it, that's where I wanted to be this year. So I got out on the guy and dot several times by myself. Got out on the upper new with Moses. Toller, Bean went with us once, met a couple new friends, then Toller and I took a swim. I'll show you that clip right here. I felt like we were doing really well. We we're coming down through there. We were just to the right of everybody right. else. Couldn't see this rock at all. Went over top of it and flipped. Didn't see it coming. Didn't know what happened. All I knew I was in the water. I think it made me take a step back. And maybe I need to gain some skills before I get out on anything big in my own boat by myself. Still went rafting. That was fun. And I still got out on the guy and dot and the coal and the tug fork with Mo. Um, and it worked out perfect because it was right about the time I got Mo into coming kayaking with me. Pretty much it just took getting him out there to get the bug. Mo was into it just as much as I was. We burned up the guy and dot. We went to the Coal River. We went to the Tug Fork. We burned it all up. The small white water, the flat water, it didn't matter. We just wanted to be out there. Saw a lot of the guy and dot. A lot of places that we would have never saw if we wouldn't have been out there on the boats. Right here in our home state, in our hometown. We spend a lot of time in the flat water boats. When water gets low in the summer, you just got to get where you can. And we scraped down some rocks on the guy and dot, and it was a good time. I was glad to have Mo out there with me. I was glad to have all my friends that got to go paddling with this year with me. I'm definitely developing gratitude for getting to experience these awesome adventures go to these places that i never even knew existed and get to share it with people that i care about and make new friends it's all cool it really is and that's why i'm documenting it just so i can look back so my friends can look back and hopefully if some other people come across this stuff they can be inspired and get out there and have some fun also we got to check out the Tug Fork Big Sandy River over in Wyoming, Mingo County. We went twice on it. Cody and KO with me both times and Mo on one of the times. Uh, the top section, perfect whitewater for me. Section, uh, class 2 sections, nothing too crazy. It was a good time. A little bit hard to get to, but... Once you're there, you're secluded. You don't have roads running by the r river and things like that. I liked it. This next clip is one of Mo's stay two swims the, for the year. Stay out of the swiftness. Oh, yeah. Because it's pushing right into those trees. Oh, yeah. oh, that sucks, man. I know. That would be cool. That'd be a good little spot. Careful in this eddy. There you go. Lean, lean. Oh no. Woo, swim to the left. Mo had two swims for the year. Both times he got right back up on the boat and went right back at it. So he didn't let anything slow him down or stop him. He wasn't shook by it. Yeah. Something else we got to do this year is camp a little bit. 
We took one camp big trip on the Big Coal with a bunch of us. I think there was eight camped out at a campground. It was real nice, but on two occasions, Mo and I just went out in wilderness camp. Once right on the river, on the Coal River. Another time up holding, cooking, and eating out in the wilderness at camp. I want to do more of that. I did a little bit of it. The three times we camped, I made us food. It was pretty good, but I want to get out there and make some ridiculous stuff, some gourmet meals out in the woods. I think that'd be fun. And there ain't nothing more relaxing than being around a campfire, just chilling and finding that inner peace, you know what I'm saying? I find myself as a hammock camper. I don't think Mo's going to go that route. We got him a two-man tent. He didn't enjoy the hammock too much. I also got me a canoe. So I'm hoping for some canoe adventures. Maybe some camping. Maybe some fishing. I don't know. I think it'd be good for hauling gear and stuff like that. I'm hoping for some more white water. Hoping for some more camping. And just getting experience life with my friends. Hoping to get the family more involved. Them kids of mine are growing camping this year and hopefully getting on the water. I want to thank my friends for being there for me, going with me. If you're watching, thanks for checking it out. Keep on coming. 2023 is going to be a good year. Thanks.